Hi everybody, my name is Bailey. I am with the YouTube channel The Million Dollar Etsy Shop. Um, today we're going to be doing another uh, JHJ, Jewelers Helping Jewelers Critique. Um, today the shop that we are going to be focusing on is Facets and Frosting um, from Beaver Creek, Ohio. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, they have seven, let me go back real quick. They have seven sales. And let's see, it's good to hear. All right, seven sales since 2014. So they're, this is a good example of someone who is on the right track. Um, I think once you start getting a couple sales, even though it did take a few years, um, you're doing something right. You're getting found somehow. And what I did, what I like to do um, is analyze what has been selling in the shop. So uh, there's not enough to get a huge pattern but I do see a pattern of the Stingray leather bracelet selling. So that's something that I would go ahead and um, consider diving into and focusing on. Um, right off the bat, you can go ahead and see that the title needs some work. Um, select your color is something that I would remove because this is kind of obvious here that you can go ahead and select your color. Um, I understand not wanting to invest too much in inventory on a shop that seems to be struggling, but having most of the colors sold out is going to result in a lot of people being turned away because they may have clicked this specifically for the color that they wanted. Um, so I would go ahead and repurchase these if you're interested in continuing the shop. Um, something like, I'm not sure about magnetic clasp, I don't think people are Typing that in, maybe um, that might be something to include, but you definitely need to go ahead and research a few more keywords. And I am going to go ahead and look up Stingray leather bracelets to see your competition on this niche. So this is a good niche, only 500 results. So I think this is definitely something to focus on. And look, she is on the third line. This is great. She's got great visibility, and it looks like a comparable product over here is priced higher than hers without free shipping so she's doing really well with her price and her um, her market so this is a good thing to focus on what i would consider doing is photographing each color independently and having perhaps eight or nine listings separately so that you have more opportunities to be found and you might want to experiment on different keywords to um, see which kind of as an a b test to see which one does what are better so you might have yellow fashion bracelet or um black leather bracelet um coral cor this coral color here is the pantone color of the year that is something that um is going to probably be searching really well for 2019 so you could do perhaps pantone 2019 pantone color coral or living coral, I think is what it's called. I would research those keywords and include that. Um, maybe consider adding a charm to it so you can target some of that charm keyword um, market. So something like four leaf clover bracelet, something, I don't know, you could be a little bit more clever with it, but that might hit other keywords. And you'll have to type those keywords, long tail keywords into search like I did here and make sure that you're not being too broad if you get like 50,000 results back it's probably too broad but if you add a color or a motif like a charm usually you can get that three letter word um, or three letter keyword that is a little bit better of a niche um, all right so let me before I focus too much on one product I want to give you a pretty good thorough review um, another red flag is I'm not really sure what your you're selling. Are you selling gemstones or jewelry? Or are you kind of starting out and trying to just figure out what sells? Um, not having a focus can hurt you. Um, so I might consider culling this down a little bit and removing some of these things. Um, maybe not. Um, I'm not sure. If things have if the things have been up here with good keywords for a long time and you're not selling them, just get rid of them because I think they hurt your shop. Um, I like that you're using this up here, this banner. This is a like. Let me see what you. I didn't read this. I do like this. Just show what you can do. Um, 
And I like that you, you tell the customer what you're able to do. Um, but I, it looks like the focus here is on gemstones and you, you, that you're a master gemologist. So I would have a lot of gemstones and maybe have it organized. Oh, you do have it organized by gemstones and jewelry. That's great. Um, gemstones sell really well on Etsy. And one of the things that I see here is not a lot of gemstones. I would try to move lower in the market, um, try to get some opening price point gemstones. I think you're going to struggle selling gemstones in this price point. You might sell a couple, but I would try to build your brand on the five to forty dollar gemstones. Um, I know you can get them. Maybe not. You, maybe you can't make them for that price, but you can get them for that price or cheaper and flip them. Um, especially if you have that connection in Sri Lanka. So that's something that I would recommend doing. And what you'll find is once you start selling the lower price point gems, it'll be a lot easier to sell the higher price point gems. I struggled selling $200 jewelry pieces until I built a brand on $35 jewelry pieces. So now I don't really have trouble selling the $200 ones, but that's only because I've built my Etsy reputation and people trust sending me that much money over the internet. Um, so yeah, I would add lower price point gems. I'm going to see, see your keywords. Oh, and you can add a lot more keywords. I would talk about the color, talk about alternative words for the, I don't know this stone, but maybe it's also known as something else. Um, I would, no one's typing this size in, but you could do, you could type in approximately eight millimeters. Someone might be typing an eight millimeter stone. Um, and then you could do the specifics in the description. Um, no one's gonna be typing an 8.2 millimeter stone. So that's kind of dead weight a little bit. Um, let me see if I can get back. All right. Fuchsia, so you have your color here. I would type in, I would instead of fuchsia sapphire gemstone, I would do pink sapphire gemstone, oval sapphire gemstone. Um, you can include fuchsia, but make sure you include pink, in other words, like uh, whatever other ter terminologies that people are, might be trying to find. Um, and again, no one's in it. this. you can include this, if, um, but this is kind of wasted search space. Um, not the oval, the seven, this part here. Um, check to see if, I don't know if people are typing in Sri Lanka gemstones. And I also don't know if this hurts or helps you because people might start assuming that your store's in Sri Lanka and I do think Americans can get turned off by thinking that stuff is coming from the east. Um, so I might put that in the description instead of up there so that people know that it's coming from the United States and it's going to get here quickly. Um, the biggest reason people are turned off by eastern goods is um, it, it, it can take four weeks to get to America. So um, that, I think this might hurt you. Um, so I might take that out and put it in the description. Let's see what else we have. I like your name, that's great. And I like that you have your face um, and your name as a shop owner. I think some people make the mistake of putting their brand here. Um, the brand actually goes over here and then your name and your face should go over here so people know that they're dealing with a person. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to see what else I have. This this type of stuff here is gonna be this dainty. This is an oversaturated market. Um, you could try long tail keywords like infinity diamond ring. That might be okay. We can type it in real quick. This is so it's a, it's a little oversaturated. And look at this. You're competing against twenty dollars. I know this isn't diamonds and gold, but this is what you're competing against. So I think you're going to struggle. Even something that's very similar to your product is still a little cheaper. But when someone can get that look for twenty dollars, I don't know why they would want to spend two hundred. So maybe though this one's up here, and this is an eight hundred dollar ring. So. But the main reason I, I might shy away from this is the competition. Um, you know, 5,000 results for a luxury price is pretty competitive. Um,
Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes so they're not a bore to um, watch. So if you have um, any questions, please comment below. If there is something um, that I didn't cover that you're curious about, just ask me. Um, I do have, uh, in the comments you can see, I have a Facebook group, which would be a great thing to join um, so that we can start talking back and forth about some of this stuff. And let's see, um, subscribe if you wanna see my next videos. I'm gonna try to post something probably three times a week, but hopefully every day. Um, all right, well, thank you, and I'm gonna do another critique after this, so stay tuned, bye.